Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's free and cheap grocery haul is set up a little bit different. I take you along for some of my shopping and my little bit of my coupon hunt as well as uh, show you how I use a new app. I will do a separate video with more details on that. But for now, let's get into the video. Hey guys. So I have my binder ready to go. Looks like it needs a little bit of a wash, but <laughs> I haven't pulled it out in a while. I've basically taken the summer off of couponing somewhat. I have nothing in my stockpile. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, let's go. So on my way to Walmart, I stopped in Zares because they have the big coupon board and I grabbed coupons and just a couple um, sale items from there. So I did check my field agent app before I left Zares um, when I was on my way to Walmart and there was a mystery shop available for me to do along the way. So if you're not familiar, I should do a separate video on what field agent is, but for really quickly, you're like a mystery shopper. So I was able to make $10 on my way by going and getting a coffee at Tim Hortons and submitting the receipt and answering some questions. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you my Zares portion before I go into how I regularly do it where I show you the flyer ad and the coupons I used. So I got all of this Catelli um, Bistro Pasta. So the Rotini and some Fusilli, uh, Panay, a bunch of pasta there. They were three for $4.98 uh, right there at Zares. Now I printed off $1 coupons per box from WebSaver and so I used six dollars worth of coupons. Then I also redeemed six dollars um, cash back from the app Cattle. So here I made about just over two dollars on this pasta. I might keep some for myself but if not I'm somewhat stocking up on it's that season where the kids start wanting to bring things in for food drives and I'm already starting my stockpile. So these here, the Iogos, were a dollar each, which was a good deal. I grabbed a couple of those. These literally were in random spots because I could not find the end cap, couldn't find where they were hiding it. So at least I grabbed those. Um, then these ones here, the Enjoy Life. I don't know if you've ever heard of these. These are $4.87 at Walmart. I can't pay that for one little box. If there's five bars in it, that's a lot of money for a box that's going to go quickly. So these were... Uh, I think $4.49 at Zares, but 50% off. And then they all had um, these stickers on them for save $1.50 when you buy two boxes. So that combined with, I will get $2 cash back um, is the limit on checkout 51. They have an offer for the Chewy Bars. So with the rebate, the coupon, and the 50% off, they worked out to $1 per box. So starting with the Quaker dips, they worked out to be only 94 cents per box. I price matched this ad from Giant Tiger and then used a coupon save $1 when you buy two from tastyrewards.ca. The goldfish worked out to be only $1.38 this week. They are on sale at Food Basics for $1.88 and then I had a 50 cent off tear pad coupon that I had found previously. The oranges, these are only 88 cents per pound. This is right at Walmart, so no coupon required, just a good price this week. I also grabbed some red seedless grapes for only 87 cents per pound. I price matched the no frills ad for that price. And I grabbed a cucumber for 88 cents. Um, this was, which one? I think this was a Sobeys ad that I price matched that time. Also there was um, the strawberries, and no sorry, the cucumber was Giant Tiger. <laughs> strawberries 288 at Food Basics. And then the Campbell's is on for 49 cents at Zares. Even though I was just there, I actually missed it, so I price matched when it went to Walmart. And then I found these Bertoli sauces, only $1.50 each um, for this is on rollback for two for five or a multi-buy. 
and they all had these little hanger coupons on them which was great it would save one dollar per jar and I grabbed some almond milk for only $1.99 I price matched Zare's again I was there but didn't know it was on sale and then used this $1 off coupon printable from Danon.ca then I got this Walmart multi buy four for eight dollars the Christy crackers I also grabbed some Lay's stacks for only 99 cents these treats were well this set anyways was a giant tiger ad I price matched the Pringles a good deal as well for 97 cents each this time I price matched no frills so I'm getting my stockpile back up to where it was uh, I did $1.47 and then applied this 50 cent off coupon these sun chips worked out to be only $1.75 this one was a shoppers drug mart ad I price matched for $2.50 and then I applied a coupon I printed from tastyrewards.ca that was 75 cents off. And Walmart has these chips here. These worked out to be some were $1, some were two. They have a multi buy four for $10 and a, a whole bunch of assorted different ones. So it's a good deal there. Then I have a couple different coupons. All these are from tastyrewards.ca. There's ones for Lay's, Wavy Lay's, uh, another one for the Tostitos, and they range from 50 cents to 75, even the Smart Food. So they all had a coupon applied. Uh, and then a little additional was this dollar cashback for the Tostitos. The last treat I grabbed for the kids was only $1.47 um, after applying this 75 cent off coupon that I printed from the same site. Then on the way home, I actually grabbed a second coffee, making another $10. <laughs> so you can see in my app here, my history of today, were my free coffees, 10 bucks each, which obviously includes the reimbursement for the coffee, but I will post a video shortly um, with more details on that app. Thanks so much for watching. I will do the breakdown in the uh, description box of the savings I have here. And I'm going to include the money I made from Field Agent because I don't ever really go out just to do Field Agent tasks. I look at it like a way, if it's convenient, to save on my groceries. They actually do direct deposit. It's super convenient and I'm going to do a separate video on it as well. I, you can feel free to follow me on Instagram for posts in between videos. And I'm hopefully back at it. Kids are back in school. I should be able to be posting more often. So um, yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with someone who would appreciate some savings tips. Thanks for watching.